What's that book you've been reading about? It's about heroes who get to go on adventures, defeat the monsters, and save the day. More than a decade before Lovecraft Country entertained go. millions of HBO viewers, Seattle author Matt Roth pitched it as an X-Files style TV series set in the 1950s with a black family who ran a travel agency. It was going to be contrasting uh, sort of paranormal horror with the more real life horrors of life in the Jim Crow era. I told you to stay away from that damn place. The family owned a travel agency and published a fictional version of the Green Book called The Safe Negro Travel Guide. So my Fox Mulder character, who I named Atticus, was going to be driving around the country looking for hotels and restaurants that would accept his business, but also having these sort of paranormal adventures. Nobody went for it in 2007, so Ruff turned the concept into his sixth novel. It came out four years ago, just as Jordan Peele was wrapping things up on his breakthrough horror film, Get Out, and looking for a new project. My agent called me up one day and said, hey, this is kind of odd because he's mostly known for comedy, but Jordan Peele wants to talk to you about your book. Showrunner Misha Green calls Matt's book beautiful, the jumping off point for reclaiming the sci-fi horror genre for people of color. You are a white guy, as am I. <laughs> I think we both have established that. How did you... The blue eyes are kind of a giveaway, yeah. I, I realized that particularly now that the idea of a white author writing about, you know, black characters is a particularly fraught subject, but to me it's just the kind of thing I've always done. And I, I believe you can succeed at that as long as you just take the time and, and do, do your research and do a good job and, and, you know, get it right. Matt Ruff has a big imagination, but he never expected millions of people to be cheering on his characters. There's a part of me that's just like, What's going to go wrong? Am I going to get hit by a bus? You know, what, you know, when am I going to get struck by lightning to sort of balance out my good fortune? But so far, so good. I, I couldn't be happier.